Hello community, with the new patch for August, as you know we got two pieces of premium content, costing you $5 each, the Surveil 6 and the Trinity pack. Today we'll be looking into the Trinity pack, are the items it gives you worth paying for, or is it just another low effort DLC with Ayo trying to squeeze some money out of you? Starting with the Ultimate Black pack, I have to say it's by far the most underwhelming of the bunch. The suit looks very similar to the Black Midnight suit, especially if you're on PC and are capable of modding your game, you can easily mod a pair of gloves on it and call it a day. That being said, there are differences of course, but this is a suit that is extremely similar to most of the suits in the game, especially looking at it from behind, it doesn't really give you anything unique. The pistol isn't all that great either, as although it has been retextured in comparison to the ICA-19 it's based off of, those elements are very hard to see in game and it looks exactly the same as the regular ICA-19 or Black Lily during gameplay. It's by far the most replaceable part of the DLC, along with the briefcase which also looks extremely common. Overall, you already have items in the game that look very similar to the black color palette. The suit is the only one with major noticeable differences as both the pistol and briefcase look exactly the same as any other black pistol and briefcase in the game during gameplay, and we know there's quite a few of them. Plus, the ICA-19 is an average pistol at best, so it's not like you're getting some gem of an item either. Overall, it's difficult to find the value in the black color palette, as there's just too many suits and items that look exactly the same or very similar. From there, we will move on to the white one. The white suit, though bearing some resemblance to the summer suit, as well as the requiem suit, is more or less unique. It's not a half bad looking suit, but making it all white definitely makes you stand out quite a bit. It doesn't fit 47 all that much. The entire white color palette looks like Agent 47 has just had an encounter with Mr. Bean's paint bomb. And talking about that, let's move on to the pistol. On first look it may not seem too bad, but when you compare it to the ICA-19 Chrome, it looks like shit. It literally looks like 47 dropped his pistol in a bucket of white wet paint. There's no real reflectivity, it looks cheap and plastic in comparison to the metal elements of the Chrome. I think the pistol desperately needed some black color for detail, because it just looks so bland and so boring. The briefcase is unique enough, I will admit, but overall, looking at the white color palette again, outside of the briefcase, there's nothing that's all that unique about it. The white suit is different enough to stand out a bit, but the pistol looks awful in comparison. And moving to the final color palette, the red one, I can say at least that it's unique. Both the suit, pistol and briefcase are completely different as there's no red variants to compare them against. Starting with the suit, I know some of you like it, but sorry to say this, in my opinion it looks ridiculous. You look like a giant traffic light, the red is so insanely bright and overbearing, all you can see is the suit. I mean talk about standing out, you can take what I said about the white suit and double it, the all red shoes, tie and shirt, it's just way too much in my opinion. To their credit, it's not all the same color, there are different shades to it, but I can't help but wonder how many people would want to walk around like a giant ketchup bottle. On the other hand, the pistol looks awesome, I genuinely enjoy using it. The black elements they've given it really help it out not to look like a giant mess, instead it looks rather cool. I mean sure, it does look like a red neon stick when you're holding it, cause the color's so bright, but at the same time, in a darker environment, it does pop rather nicely. I think it's a unique pistol that for the most part was done intelligently, instead of dropping it in a bucket of wet paint like they did the white one. Someone actually took their time to make some kind of flow and design to it, and I do appreciate it. The briefcase looks really out of place though, I mean, you carry it around, all you can see is the briefcase, it's so bright, but that's the price of choosing that version of red. I love red, it's one of my favorite colors, especially for clothing and design, but it's a color that in my opinion works best used for detail on an already existing palette. It can be used on its own of course, but you have to use the color in a very subtle tone depending on the graphics, you really have to be careful in my opinion, they've went overboard with this one. Overall, looking at all the suits and items combined, outside of the white briefcase and red pistol, there's nothing really great here. Sure, the white suit is good and the red color palette will be very attractive to some people, however for 5 bucks, I don't see the value here. Then again, it is only 5 dollars, so you won't break the bank either way. 
If you like some of the items here and really want to get them, go ahead. This is just my opinion on them through my experience using them. Yours may differ, especially on different maps with different lighting. Some suits can look way better or worse than others. However, if this pack was $1.99 or even $2.99, I would have no problem recommending it. But with MK1 and Spider-Man 2 knocking on the door, if your budget is tight and you don't have money to spend on reskins, I would suggest you to skip out on this particular expansion. Those are my thoughts and you can let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content and without further ado, thank you very much for watching.